how's it going guys sold here and you have guessed by now that these are the one of those tier list videos so this tier list video is about the you know computer languages and how we use them and the popularity of those but before we begin I will just make it clear that I'm not gonna add any markup languages like XML, HTML, XHTML because uh, those are not true languages so why we bother right so we will use general purpose languages and second is the we also not gonna include any style state languages like SAS, LAS and CSS uh, obviously and now we also want to put a cap that uh, lower than C and C++ we won't include those languages too and the language must be need to be popular uh, or it not be extinct you know one of those extinct languages I won't put that here so in that way uh, you know the uh, I can give you the best things and I'm gonna compare like 18 languages so be be we you know be there with me so let's begin so first thing is we got a scholar so those who don't know it's a you know Java is languages one of those old thing uh, it is still used because of the uh, you know uh, many legacy languages or companies who created website with that you know backends or software with that they still liquidated because of that and it's you know it's kind of irrelevant now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in F uh, by the way this video is totally in my opinion uh, if you do not need to agree with me uh, and uh, yeah uh, it doesn't mean that this language is, is not usable anymore uh, if we, if I put in F tier it is usable languages doesn't matter if you want to create something and yeah we also need to check the potential enough talking let's go to uh, see more so next we got Dart so this language is a new language many of you heard of them or many of not but this uh, this language is developed by Google and maintained by Google and those who don't know it's gonna be big thing if Fusia OS becomes a big thing Fusia OS is written on that Fusia OS is a Google upcoming OS for phone and computers and this you know this uh, uh, what we call OS will merge uh, laptops and computers and phones together so that's where you know it's totally multi paradigm OS so Dart can be a big thing in the future but for now it's just a E tier for me at least we got C now yay so uh, many of you know C mostly written on many things you know the base the languages we the type on are created with C and it's the old day uh, one of the most uh, you know the languages we uh, do work with are based off C and sometimes written on C so C is very, very useful but it's kind of getting uh, you know neglected throughout the years because of the high level languages but if you still you know make watches or anything a C is important to you so I'm gonna put C in a E tier next we got Kotlin so this is one of those languages deja vu java is languages so what happened is it's learned on jvm and now you now see a where it's used right uh, uh, in fact google is promoting as their main android language so in the future it can be a big thing uh, if android go on forever but for now I'm gonna put in C tier because uh, it's getting irrelevant by the way um, I mean it's relevant now but it can be relevant in the future by the way so next we got Python so many of you love this language and if I put some down there you're gonna you know bash me up in the comments so I don't want to get that I love this language it's an awesome language it's so simple and easy and we have an awesome community support yeah that's the other thing that 3 versus 3.7 versus 2.7 uh, nothing we can do about that that that's a whole another issue 
Uh, but uh, Python can be created for gaming, backend programs, and uh, this is the one of a kind language because this language is the only language which is you know mainly used for machine learning and data analyst and also data scientist too. So it deserved to be eight year. Many of you will suggest that S tier. So it kind of both, but I'm gonna, for my opinion, I'm gonna put in A tier. Okay, so next is we got Golang. So it's a Go, one of those Google languages. Google is promoting heavily, but it's not getting any too much attention, by the way. Uh, yeah, people using in the service, uh, Google also promoting heavily in their programming community. Uh, but we don't know the future, right? So uh, we we can hope that it can be uh, become good. But the only thing we can do is put in the D tier for now, of course. Yeah, this is the one of the most loved languages. By the way, it's not used anywhere. Uh, <laughs> That doesn't mean it's used anyway. It is used to, you know, people type in TypeScript in the front end language and transpile to JavaScript. That's the work of TypeScript. Uh, maybe it will take overtake JavaScript. I don't know. Uh, for now, it's an awesome language. Uh, front end will be angry if we, if I put in down here. But so that's why I'm gonna put in the B tier. So here. We got Seesaw, so most of the gaming, uh, computer software, especially Windows software, sometimes also created for uh, uh, you know native apps. So that that's how it works. You know, we got this this uh, you know this language promoted by Windows. I mean Microsoft, uh, and uh, also it got very useful support in PS Studio. It has a own SDK so you know it is useful language uh, it should be here and not to mention forget to mention that it's the language where ASP.NET is there so yeah it's a very popular language backend language next we got Swift so um, Apple ecosystem right uh, Apple won't be uh, will be angry if down there but this is the only, la you know, only language where you can use in a Mac. So it's the one of the good languages. You know, it's very Pythonous and it's very fast, though, and very easy to develop. Uh, you know, Apple make it super simpler. So yeah, it would be easy. And uh, so we need to put an A tier. Because it's the it's the language if you want to develop iOS apps, and not to mention that's the that's the uh, ecosystem where you get all of your money. And we use MacBook, so yeah, Swift so will be here. So next we got Rust. <coughs> Sorry about that. So Rust is a new kid in the town, developed by Mozilla. It's not that not new, but yeah it's a good language it's an awesome language and it will you know become very big thing in the future and uh, people people uh, you know in 2018 and 2019 uh, in stack overflow people show their support and uh, it becomes the most loved language on planet earth wow and it has better control controllability than c and c sub you know, you know low level languages and it has flexibility and uh, you can use very various ways so uh, and I am very uh, happy to use this because I'm gonna in the future I'm gonna make uh, videos about Rust too and not to mention that it will be the uh, language where people will transpile to uh, WebAssembly it's a uh, feature of webs because Mozilla is promoting so you know it's, it is gonna be a big thing so for now but we do not have a better community support but in the future we will get that and I will recommend we to use Lust so I'm gonna for now I'm gonna put uh, Lust but in the future I can bet that it can go up to 8 year 
by the way that this meme won't be there anymore uh, it can be go also to S tier but you know it's a honorable mention so for now it's in the C tier so next we got PHP so PHP you know bug Yahoo use it and many people use it you know so PHP is the one of the important language of the web PHP powers the web people say that but for now it's getting less attention because of the node.js or javascript uh, runtime i guess uh, but, but the php it will be a big thing in the future uh, i mean in the past laravel uh, laravel is created with php and many things are there and yeah people who use wordpress are you know wordpress is created with php so uh, it should be up there but uh, it's the for now you know no because of the nodes it's getting down now so why i should put it in the p tier and now people gonna angry the rust guys will angry because i put php over rust so next we got c plus plus yeah it's a windows uh we get windows app with it uh, you know it's the uh you know it's most imp most important language you know it's the structural language where uh we create the modern everything uh from your watches to your web so you're gonna say hey Saul, i never heard c plus plus in uh you know in a web so how are you gonna explain that so to those who don't know the p8 engine where node and chrome is run on you know chromium is run on are created with c plus plus even the javascript is created with c plus plus so csc plus plus is the one on the important not to learn by the way not for learning but it's important though uh, because it's the structural or uh, structure of the modern languages and it's uh, many languages, most of the languages we use today are inspired from C++, so it's still relevant and it will be become more relevant because WebAssembly, uh, many people prefer C++ for WebAssembly transpiling. Next, we got JavaScript. So, um, I'm gonna explain in later why I put in here. But uh, for now, it should be here. Okay. Next, we got Exiler. So uh, it's a, one of those Java is, uh, Java is language, not JavaScript, by the way. Java is language like Scalar. People, uh, corporation is still using it today, so it should be here. You know, used by force. Now we got Objective C, right? So, Objective C is the uh, you know structure for the Mac ecosystem or you know iOS. Everything is created with, but it's getting old because that's why Apple prefers Swift over Objective C. But it's still, most of the languages you know many things are written in Objective C, and uh, many times Swift use transpiling to Objective C to work with the machine code. So, uh, it should be here with dart and c plus plus yeah now we got java so long story so uh it's created for the web front-end web and it become like a gaming language um, and uh, it will remove from the web and become gaming language for the time people using in a phones because it's multi paradigm and people st still use JVM like Kotlin use this, Scala use this and Exala use the and Hex you know Haskell also use that. So it's uh, you know it's definitely important thing JVM but not the Java by the way. Uh, Java uh, is still is used widely but people say why uh, I thought Java is dead. Um, many of the software created with Java, so they are transpiling. By the way, backend uh, works with done with Java, but now PHP, Python, and Node, not to mention the best, uh, taking over that, and lots of issues. 
but it's still alive because of the Android app ecosystem. So I will put with Android app. In the future, Java will be degraded down to here, you know, E or D, because this is a dying language. But for now, it would be C. Luby. Many people heard the framework called Luby on Layers. It's a famous language. Many people use that, by the way. Uh, it's so famous that, you know, it's the modern architecture of REST API format. And uh, it's created by a Japanese guy called, I don't know, I don't remember his name. Sorry if you're watching this. And it will be here because it's getting irrelevant after a note, of course. Now, Haskell. Where should I put? I bet that most of you didn't have heard of this name, but it's still useful, so I'm gonna put in here, FDA. <coughs> now I'm gonna talk about JavaScript. So what happens is this is the language for front-end development, the Vue.js, um, uh, you know, Scala, Angular, not Scala, sorry about that, Angular, React, Ember, everything's created with JS. So that's the front end part, you know, front end tools like Webpack, uh, you know, Jira, uh, other Jest, these things are created with uh, Babel, yeah, also that, all created with JavaScript. And JavaScript is the backbone of web, the, uh, you know, modern web. So there is no competition here. So why I put here, it is, isn't, this is the only language which is in web, that's why, no. Because I'm gonna put node as as the JS too, so that's why node is the reason why uh, everyone uh, in the tech community become one, both the front end and the back one, and uh, using uh, the, those two. And not to mention npm is most in, most most important. And we have Electron JS. Um, I I know many of you don't heard of it, but you app you use some apps like Spotify for on uh, on the Mac or the uh, Windows are created with uh, you know Electron.js, uh, Common JS is created with JS, and uh, you know Discord, everyone's favorite app or social media now is also created with JS. You know the desktop version of the app. So that's all to it. So this is the my video for the tier list. Hope you guys understand. I mean, hope you guys enjoy, of course. Uh, this is not my typical videos, and uh, if you want to watch some tutorials, you can check it out on my channel. You know, it's awesome. Best, best channel ever for the, for the beginners. Uh, I have JS, Python, Swift, everything you need. So, hope you guys understand. That's it for today's video, guys. And uh, this that, that's how now I make videos. And... Uh, Tier doesn't mean the usability of their language. It means only the, uh, you know, community support and other things. So hope you guys understand. See you guys in another playlist.